Is this around? <laughs> Show it to the camera first, Jamie. <laughs> oh, sorry. This way?
because since since I had done Murr and Vincent, well, everywhere I go, out in public, people go, oh, Vincent! I'm going, no, it looks nothing like me. <laughs> so I did that fun piece of Murr and Vincent together, and that was such a hit that the following year I did Murr and Catherine, but I knew I'd get lynched. <laughs> so I titled it, In Your Dreams, Bub. <laughs> but there's a rough sketch, there's a uh, photocopy of the painting. <laughs> okay, while those are floating around, are there any questions? Yes? Um, I think you do better likenesses than just about anybody working. And I was wondering, I mean, if you ever wanted to do this full time, do you think you could? No. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's such no. a tough, tough industry to break into. Well, it's tough in that aspect, but I just basically don't do well with deadlines. <laughs> and when you have to eat, <laughs> it doesn't work. So I've got the job at the station with a regular paycheck, and I don't have to worry about busting my butt to put food on the table. And and also, like I found out with photography, that once it becomes a job, nine times out of ten, you have to take on stuff that you really don't want to do because you have to eat. This way, I've got the best of both worlds. I can just do what I want, when I want, have fun with it. Um, as far as the likenesses go, I've been a semi-pro photographer for 20-some years, I think in photographic terms. And so for me it was just a natural. I had always done pencil sketches of models that I photographed. And uh, this was just an extension of the photography. Uh, most of the paintings I do are of models that I photographed and then I do fantasy paintings from those. The only time I do media stuff uh, Highlander, Star Trek, and stuff as if I do a convention with a particular actor. Because there's a lot of uh, copyright problems, legal problems involved with doing media. Uh, with Beauty and the Beast, I've left a paper trail with the company to prove that I've actually tried to get a license to do this. So if they start raising a ruckus about it, I'll go, hey, you guys just didn't respond. It's your fault, not mine. So, question, yes? What media do you prefer to work with? Airbrush. Well, it's it's acrylic. It's specially formulated acrylic for airbrush. Uh, because, like I said, I've been sketching since I was a little kid, and with the airbrush, you can just sketch with color, and then you detail with colored pencil, which is more sketchy. But um, it's interesting to look back at stuff I've done in the past. There, there's stuff where there were happy accidents. I have no idea how I did it, and it's frustrating because I can't recreate it. And it's a really cool technique. And then there are other things where I look at and I go, yeah, I don't know. I'd love to go back and finish it. But I can't because it's set in stone. Uh, that's the thing with, with uh, people wanting prints, is that once a piece is finished and you start turning out prints, you can't change it. Why not? Questions? Why not? Why not what? Why can't you change it? Well, it's just not done. <laughs> it's it's like well it's kind of like Steven Spielberg going back and doing a special edition Close Encounters, yeah. or Lucas doing a special edition Star Wars. You know it's it's yeah, yeah, yeah. well I know they did. <laughs> <laughs>